Welcome to Rhinos and Aliens. But once again, you know who they should have brought back? Fucking Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> <laughs> I would have paid to see that shit. They might as well have. It would have been for made it made, made a better fucking movie. I was about to say, logically speaking, it would have made more sense if they brought if Jar Jar was the Sith Lord. Yeah, but this, I was just about to say he was the fucking Sith Lord, dude. <laughs> that shit would have been so good because just just the meme factor is fucking great, dude. I would have been fucking pumped. I would have stayed awake for that movie. <laughs> yeah, bro. But could you imagine if they didn't promote anything with Jar Jar Binks and then every. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just imagine like he's sitting in the chair with the hood up. And then and he, he just, turns around. You just, he just turns around. You hear his fucking voice. And it's just, yo, I would have been done, bro. I would have fucking lost it, dude. <laughs> I want to go home and watch Star Wars, dude. Fuck everything else. I'm watching Jar Jar, yo. Yo, by the way, even though we're making fun of him, you, how is he any different from any goofy character in Star Wars? Yeah, you're not wrong. I, I don't. I like. I liked him in the movie. He was funny. You know? Yo, was bro. Whatever. Before I became aware of the hate for him. Yeah, same here. I was always a fan of him. He yeah, was the same here. But now you can't be a fan of him without getting shit on. <laughs> Even though he was the real dude. I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. Next movie, Jar Jar fucking Binks, dude. Behind it all, dude. He was the mastermind, yo. If you thought it, if you thought it was Palpatine, no. No, no, no. He was controlling Palpatine, dude. <laughs> He's the true one. No, but seriously speaking, what, like, just take away the funny factor. What would have made more sense? You have how 10 million clones of Palpatine and then... The one Darth Plagueis, or yeah. not, no, the what did they end up the, calling, dude? Which one from the eighth film that they the ended up cut in half? Yeah, Darth Sidious. No, that's that's Palpatine. That's, that's just, like, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but the that all powerful guy who literally <laughs> couldn't fucking feel the lightsaber <laughs> shaking. <two people. laughs> My man could fucking make two people's conscience connect across the galaxies, <laughs> but couldn't fucking. <laughs> Couldn't feel the fucking lightsaber shaking two feet away from him with the force that he so powerfully controls, right? Honestly speaking, bro, did anybody in that writing room actually uh, sit down and say, yo, this doesn't quite make any sense? That was terrible, dude. Snoke. It was Snoke. Supreme Supreme Leader Snoke. Which, by the way, in the in the seventh film, they hinted he's some great powerful dude, be it Master Windu or Darth Plagueis, whoever it was. Yeah. Because you know there are some rumors about Mace Windu because yeah. they didn't show him die. Yeah, technically, yeah, like I said, if he doesn't die on screen, then he's yeah, not, then and never really and dead. he's such a powerful Jedi, lightning wouldn't necessarily kill him. Yeah. Dude, but you know, like I said, bring Snoke out, man. He's all powerful. Let me tell you something, friends. If this if this glass started shaking on this table, you think I would notice it? My thing is, forget notice. How did he not feel the vibration? That's what I'm saying, especially because it came with the force. Like I said, when Jar Jar Binks, the best I'm telling you, dude, this is the best they could have done with the Star Wars. Episode nine. Episode nine is they go into the room and all you see is the you know, the typical Seth or uh, Sith fucking cloak over him and he's sitting in the chair. And turns around, and all you all you hear is still shadowy. You know, you can't see his face. <laughs> Misa, this is a supreme leader. <laughs> and that shit would have been, yo, everyone would have been out of their seats, dude. Yo, you, I wouldn't even have paid to watch the movie. I would have paid to see the reactions. Yeah. Of- dude, everyone would have went nuts, dude. <laughs> Misa, the supreme leader. Like, What? Fucking Jar Jar. No, seriously, bro. Tell me that that film would have not broken opening weekend records if word got around that Jar Jar was, was the, the fucking <laughs> sin- yeah the, the fucking the supreme leader Jar Jar. Yo, fucking, I'm out. I'm done. Yo, what was the? You looked up the. I was looking at this theory, and it says in the beginning of 2015, Star Wars began publishing a new book trilogy called Aftermath. Right? Yeah, I the remember. Three books would go on to. Over everything that happens between the Return of the Jedi, the Force Awakens, um, and it, it says everything that happens between the Return of the Jedi and the Force Awakens, it's kind of like how Rogue One ends up connecting Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, right? Got it. And then it says the third installment of Aftermath Trilogy is called Empire's End. Um, at the end of this novel, 
we unexpectedly learn the fate of Jar Jar Binks, which I never knew about, right? I didn't even know he had a fate. Yeah. So apparently he, it is he's a street clown who performs for little children banished by the Gungan race, which is his race, right? Mm-hmm. But listen to this. In this part, a young boy approaches Jar Jar Binks and asks him why nobody calls him by name and why no one will talk to him. Misa Jar Jar. He says then, Jar Jar making some uh uh-oh mistakes. Big mistakes. Der Gungan bosses banished me uh, long ago. Misa no been home in forevers, right? Here's the interesting part. The book describes this young boy as a disfigured orphan whose scar tissue runs up from his jaw over the hole that used to be his ear. And to the scalp. Like Snoke? With a, Snoke has a messed up ear and a deep forehead scar, right? Jar Jar then offers to teach the young boy. He goes, my teaching you, Apollo. We some making the whole galaxy smile, huh? And then, of course, like it says. And this then, is in the actual novel. This is, that, that's taken from the actual novel. And he says, and the dude says, of course, it's possible Jar Jar was only ever a fool and is merely taking in a young orphan boy. For all we know... Uh, Who is disfigured. Yeah. However, if you believe the, the theory that Jar Jar Binks truly is a Force Master and a Sith collaborator, maybe the Gungans banished him because he was a Sith collaborator, and he's lying low for an opportunity to strike again. Which, by the way, that, go, that feeds back into episode one, because he's the one who helped with Anakin... Mm-hmm coming on board he's the one who helped with the 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 he was always in the area of anakin going to the jedi yeah. yep and then it says and then it just says and maybe this young deformed orphan boy has a dark power within him will eventually turn him into supreme leader snoke which by the way this book was written before episode nine came out which classified snoke as a clone but before that nobody knew snoke was a clone. Even though I don't believe in episode 7, they envisioned him being a clone. They just made that shit up to make up for yeah. episode 8. I'm telling you, dude. Jar Jar, the supreme leader, dude. Bro, that I'm cloning thing completely ruined the whole concept. Yeah, it, it, it threw everything off. I still haven't seen the last movie, by the way. <laughs> I haven't finished the last movie, I Yeah, say. well, you fell asleep 30 minutes in, if that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I was, like, knocked out. I still gotta watch it. I have it. I think I tried to rent it and I fell asleep again. <laughs> I remember I, I did something where I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to watch it again. And I fell asleep again. <laughs> I want to finish it, though, just I, because I still technically have not seen it all. But I know about what happened. So, Bro, and you know what's so funny, too? As dumb as it sounds, the easiest way they could have completely made up for episode eight is if the Sith Lord of nine wasn't Darth Sidious who came back through some magic and yeah 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 I agree with you and yo if it was Jar Jar bro because then it would connect back to the books yeah it would it would it would actually connect more than it did yes yeah yeah you guys tried to explain to me how he how he magically came back and I'm just like I don't get it yo but that's that's the thing it's it was some convoluted shit bro it was so convoluted and the funniest thing too is that they they made all these like lore novels before mm-hmm. episode nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this film not only contradicts the actual films, it contradicts all the supposed canon novels. Mm. So you legit not only broke your film lore, you broke all- everything. You broke everything, basically. Just to make up for episode eight, which, by the way, if you took the time to release these... See, this is what a lot of people bring up. They say, well, you know the original trilogy wasn't planned out. They went film by film by film. But the thing is, every new film they made, they knew how the last film ended. Yeah, and that's a big thing. Like I said, you can't... If you, how are you going to start a sequel not knowing where the prequel ended? You're like, it's, it's like asking me, hey, Jordan, finish this book that you've finished this book, but I'm not going to tell you the first half. And I'm like, all right, then. And then I start writing my own. I'm, I'm, I'm not finishing a book. I'm starting my own book. Yeah. It's completely different. Or, or uh, uh, to more direct, it's like it's saying, write. OK, this art, uh, author is writing this novel. We want you to make the sequel to his novel without ever reading his novel. Yeah. H- how? How are you supposed to make a sequel to something where you do, you only know the basic points? You got me. Yo, bro, I really... I'm telling you, dude. If Jar Jar Bink, that shit would have been epic, dude. In an alternate universe. People would universe. still be talking about it. 
Yo, bro, no, seriously, besides the hate that film gets, who does ever, anybody even remember episode nine? I tell you, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, it probably says more that you keep falling asleep during the film. Yeah. Dude, if I fall asleep during a movie, you know it's bad. I've only fa- I've fallen asleep. I've literally been up for 24 hours and have not fallen asleep on a movie. Just a friendly reminder, guys, hit the subscribe button in this corner. And then for the newest video, then for the most recommended, and then for our famous dick pic.